Simple Cutout Crazy Review. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator Beat and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP Low Content Books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So today what I'm doing is I'm actually doing a review about Simple Cutout Crazy, which is a piece of software brought to you by Puzzle Publishers. And what this software does, it actually allows you to upload a PNG with a transparent background and actually puts all the lines around your image and you can set the padding out, you can set out whether it is dot or dashed and it does it instantly. So at the time of filming this, it is $27. It could go up to $47. So this is just what it shows you. Upload your graphic, let the software create the cutout for you and download your design. Now you can download your design either as a PNG or a PDF, but this is the sales page. I'll leave a link down in the bottom for you to have a look. Now, if you've already got PowerPoint and Affinity Designer and you don't want this, then just skip over it. But if you want something that's quick and easy, this is your answer. So here we are in the software and all you need to do is just click load image and you can select any that's got a PNG with a background, with a transparent background. So I'm just going to click on this. And I'm going to click open and it's automatically put all the lines for me and I can reduce the padding down and it brings it in a bit nearer so I can aim it at different age groups. I can also change it from dash to dot. I can also bring the line width in a bit. Again, I can make it a solid and dashed and dots. And here we can download it as a PNG or a PDF and you can also take the image away so that they can actually Yes, or you can create stickers for them to be putting in so they can create, you can do a cutout and then you can do a sticking as well. So there's two versions you can be doing with that. So we can download that as a PNG. And here you can see that that is that. Now the problem is it, you cannot do it with a JPEG. So if we go in here or any of the AIs or EPSs here, I've got this here and I've got a JPEG which it won't go in. So if you're on a Mac, there's a way of doing it. There's also a way of doing it on Windows and I'll show you as well. But if you're on a Mac, what you need to do is actually open your JPEG with Previewer. So if you go into Preview, you can actually open your image here. So I've got the image here. What I want to do is I actually want to, I'm going to just reduce this so you can actually see everything that I'm doing. So just reduce that in size because I need the markup tools. So I'm going to click on the show markup tools. And what I can do is I can actually draw around it to get what I want first and foremost. And I can go to tools and crop and it'll crop all that background there and then also I can go to tools and I can rotate right so I've got it the right way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool here instant alpha and I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to just press delete because I've drawn it round where I want it. All you need to do is track your drag your mouse to where you want it. Press delete. Now it's going to convert my image to a PNG and that is my image ready. So file Export, I can export it again now as a PNG or it would have already saved there. So I'm just going to do that again. Then I'm going to go back here and I'm hoping it's saved it in the right place. Well, it has saved it there. Open it up. And that is how you do that in Mac. So now let's go into Windows. I'm just going to pause the video while I transfer across. So here I am in Windows and what I want is I want the JPEG here on this folder. So I'm going to click on it, right click and I want to edit with Paint 3D. So what this does is it allows me to actually remove the background of this image. So I've got this bus here that I want to change. Click back on here. So I can crop round it and get rid of different things that I don't want. It's a bit near, but it'll do. Okay, I also want to rotate it. So what I need to do, 
is I need to click on here, make sure Canvas is selected, then click here. I also want transparent as well. And here I can flip and rotate. So what we'll do is we'll rotate that and it's the right way going forward. But I still need to get rid of all this background. So what I do is I actually use Magic Select. Down a bit. Okay, so I want to still keep some of these doors. I'm just going to draw over them. There we go. Click on it again, make sure it's add. I'm actually going to click done. And I'm actually going to copy this now. Copy. And then I'm going to go into menu. I'm actually going to get a new. I don't want to save that. I'm going to right click, paste. Just going to come down so I can actually see what I'm doing. Zoom in. So I'm actually bigger than the actual canvas. So I'm just going to move in, drag everything into the canvas. Like that. Happy with that. Again, I've just clicked off. Now I want to go back onto the canvas. I want to make sure that transparency is there. And then again, I'm going to save as an image. I want it as PNG, this transparency there. Save. And I'm going to save this as bus tree. Save. And then I'm going to go back to here I'm going to get rid of that one load image I think it went to five Hang on. it's there first two click open and there we are so that is how you remove background and make it transparent using paint 3d in windows and also using preview in Mac. So if you want to get a hold of this, the link will be down in the description for you to get it. But one of the upsells is actually to pay out monthly to get the whole of this software. So this is all the software that you actually get. And that is $19.97 a month. There is a downsell for you to try it out, a five-day trial for $10. And you also get access to search it, find it, simple cutout, simple maze crazy, word search crazy, graphical search crazy, crazy, dot to dot, designer editor, crazy hangman, Robert crazy builder, mandala crazy, crazy stetcher tool. And there's also different trainings in here that you can watch that goes through how to actually use all this software. I know somebody actually creates these mandalas using this tool and actually sells the mandalas on Gumroad. So you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to create PLR from these as well. And then there's some um, you, some live training as well. So that is what you can do. So the links will be down in the description. If you're interested in, in purchasing this, it's a tool for you to use if you're not happy using PowerPoint or Affinity Designer to create your cutouts. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button above my head to be notified about any other videos I make. And while you're at it, don't forget to check out the two videos about actually creating scissor skills in PowerPoint and Affinity Designer.